Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video I want to show you how to make sound. So I've opened up the sound.c from the starter code. Of course I've pasted in my solution to lab 7 and 8 uh, into the lab 10 starter code, so it will uh, output to the LCD and output to the DAC. Okay? Now in my sound, I want my sound to have access to the DAC, so I did an include uh, DAC.h. I'm going to use timer zero, interrupting in 11 kilohertz, to create the sound. And that's what these sounds are. And they are pre-recorded sounds. Uh, this particular one, called Shoot, uh, recorded at 11 kilohertz, um, uh, is 4,000 bytes long. OK, so the first step will be to, uh, to create an initialization. All right, so let's do that. OK, so right here. All right, so I am going to need a length variable. This will be a counter, uh, which when zero means no sound, and I'm going to set it equal to 4,000 when I start the sound. Okay, so when I initialize my, um, my sound, I am going to initialize my DAC, and I'm going to initialize the timer. Now again, uh, the, the, these sounds were recorded at 11 kilohertz, so I'm going to use a periodic interrupt called timer zero to run a f my function called sound task, which I'll write in a moment. Okay. All right. Again, I'm going to need a length variable. Zero will mean uh, the sound is over, and 4080 will mean I've just started it. Okay. Now remember, those were 8-bit sounds, and the type of that array was 8-bit. Uh, ROM constant. So this is a pointer. Uh, now the pointer's in RAM, but the sound is in ROM. Okay? And so when I go to play the sound, I'll set the length, initialize the pointer. Uh, so next what I need is a task, a, a short interrupt service routine task, which is going to be called by this timer module. Okay, so it's called sound task, and what it will do, it'll have no parameters, but it's going to output just like lab uh, just like lab six is going to output one value to the DAC. Okay, let me show you. All right, so like I said, if length is non-zero, that means I have data to output. I am going to fetch one eight-bit value out of that array. Uh, now I'm going to divide by four because it's an eight-bit sound in the array, and I have built a six-bit DAC. Okay. And I'm going to output it to my DAC. That's my lab, that's my lab six solution. Uh, increment the pointer to the next entry and decrement the length. Now, if I get a if I get this thing called with length equal to zero, then what I'm going to do is disable the timer. Now it turns out IRQ19 um, is the timer, and I write a one to the DIS register in order to disable the timer zero, or I'm writing a one to bit 19 to disable the interrupt. Okay, I'm almost done, all right. Um, so now this task is gonna be called very uh, uh, 11,000 times per second, outputting one DAC value. So now all I need to do is create some sort of function to initialize the pointers, okay? And so when I call sound play, I'll set the length equal to the count, and I'll set the pointer equal to the pointer, and I'll enable uh, timer uh, interrupt 19, which is timer zero. Uh, one more function, uh, and that is if I call the function shoot, what I want to do is set the pointer to that shoot variable, that's that shoot array, that's this array up here, right? To set it to this array, and boom, off we go. All right, Judge, this is a complicated lab, and so I don't want you to run the entire uh, game. I want you to debug in pieces. So here's a main program that I wrote that uh, uses just plain old port F, uh, and if I push one of the buttons on port F, uh, then it will call my sound shoot, okay? And so um, if the current value um, is got the switch pressed, and the last value had the switch not pressed, I will call shoot once. And then this part of the loop will wait for me to let go of the button. All right, so let's build this. Uh, download it. Okay, now you can't see me doing it. 
but uh, let's debug and run. Um, now, if I put the watch window over here, if I put these things in my watch window, all right, put this in my watch window, this will be interesting. Add this to watch, okay, all right. Uh, set this up to periodic view, okay, run. Oh, it is running, all right. So I push the button, all right. You can hear it. If you look closely, you see that the, the length went to some value and ended up at zero. That's it. All right, I made sound. Now you can add the other sounds on your own. All right, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, enjoy this lab. You're putting all the pieces together uh, to make a fun project. And that was sound.